We're now on our second week of Holy Week, yung biyaheng Semana Santa. And again, this could happen this week. And ang rami nating tradition, we have so many traditions in our culture, uh, uh, being highly uh, Catholic culture, marami tayong ginagawa during Holy Week to to imply our devotion and our love for God. And these are some of the pictures that you see. At ito yung mga tinatawag natin mga sakripisyong ginagawa natin as Filipinos every Holy Week. Last week, I talked about how ang kultura natin, mahilig tayong mamuhunan. We try to do a lot of good so that later on when I do something bad, I can point back and say, you know, Lord, Lord I did a lot of good, so give me some leeway. Kaya ako, I, I'm able to do bad things now. Pwedeng may mercy kasi mabait naman ako, no? And, and that's kind of like our culture when it comes to Holy Week. When we think like, you know, this week I'll be so good so that I'll be blessed the, all year round. But that's not how the Bible operates. It's not how God operates. And now we're entering and this would be a week of sacrifice. A lot of people will be sacrificing so many things. We've heard about uh, kailangan mo mag you carry palm, uh, yung palaspas ka, and to be blessed by the priest or the pastor, then bring them home and place them above the front door or the window of the house. Bakit? For what reason? To ward off evil spirits, right? And then we have Visita Iglesia. We're going to seven churches to meditate on the way of the cross. Meron tayong sinakulo, traditional passion play, concluded by Pabasa. Uh, this week, uh, most of the restaurants won't be serving any meat. Right? Uh, wala pong meat and uh, uh, marami rin po hindi maliligo this week. Right? And uh, also the acts of penance like this one where I'm, I'm trying to sacrifice just to show how serious I am and Lord, I hope you take notice uh, that I'm sacrificing, that I'm doing my penance uh, or maybe some to the point of even crucifying themselves on the cross or carrying a cross, just to show, seryoso ako dito. Hindi to biro. I'm doing this for one week. As in, ano to? Uh, crush, ano? Hindi, hindi crush diet eh. Crush holy to. Right? I'll be holy for a week. I'll sacrifice. I'll show them that I can still be holy uh, eh, for at least seven days okay, during the whole year. In one of the interviews that I watched on why people do the penitentia, he said, I do penitentia to pay for all my sins and show to God that I repent from it. Why? Because as human beings, merong innate sa atin. Hindi mo matatanggal yan. May innate sa atin, sa, sa, sa puso natin o sa buhay natin, that we think I need to make a sacrifice to pay off whatever debt that is. Now, I need to make a sacrifice. If I offended someone, anong una ko sasabihin? How can I make it up to you, Right? Paano kita mababayaran? Sorry talaga. How can I make it up to you? Why? There's an innate thing in, in human beings that when I do something bad, I need to make sacrifices. We celebrate the spirit of sacrifice, right? Hindi mo trabaho, ginawa mo. Nare-recognize ka. Why? Because it's actually a very good value we have as Filipinos. We sacrifice. Right? Ang tatay na hindi kumakain ng fried chicken para ibigay sa anak. Sacrifice, right? Kahit gutom na gutom siya, bibigay niya na lang sa anak niya. Right? And and it's part of who we are. Now, here's the thing. Okay? Minsan naman, pagdating sa relationship natin kay Lord and our sins, ganun yung tingin natin. Para siyang weighing scale. Right? We're in if I do bad one sin, I'll do one good work to balance it out. Tama? Di ba? Pag tinanong mo, pupunta ka man langit, depende, parang mas marami naman akong ginawang mabuti kaysa sama-sama. Right? So, ibig sabihin, papunta akong langit. Di ba? Kasi mas marami akong buting ginawa. Pag marami akong kasalanan, punta akong impyerno. And so, we try to balance the scale. Diyan mo makikita yung all year round, Diba? Makasalanan, tapos biglang magbibigay siya ng million-million sa simbahan. Why? We're trying to balance the scale. Diba? Papakainin niya yung si pastor o si, si father. Diba? O, close na tayo, ha? Uh, selfie, father proof. Okay, diba? And so, we try to balance the scale of saying, you know what? I'm actually doing some good also. Right? And, and we see that happen. 
We see it in the headlines. You could be the most corrupt, but still go to church. You see it in movies, The Godfather. Bago siyang pumatay ng tao, punta muna siya, magpapabless siya. Right? And you see it also in victory. A lot of people go here to be blessed. Bakit? Susugal sila bukas eh. And so they try to balance things. Right? Or they go here. Why? Because tomorrow I'm about to commit adultery at least. Lord, you know, it eases the sin a little bit. Right? Why? I'm trying to balance things. And I'm making what? Sacrifices. Sasakripisyo ako, Lord, ha? So dapat at least magbalance siya. Para pagpunta ng langit, pagpunta, pag namatay ako, pagpunta ko ng langit, tinanong ni, ni, ni San Pedro, kung papasok ako, sabihin ko, you know, di ba? And we try to balance it off. And, and that's our mindset. Nasa ano tayo? Nasa works mentality tayo. Na pag mabait ako, maliligtas ako. Kung masama ako, di na. Di ba? Kaya Christmas, yun din yung worship song mo eh. You better watch out. Di ba? Why? It's innate in us that I need to make sacrifices for me to be rewarded. Right? Regarding our sacrificial mentality, our culture says, this will earn you favor in the eyes of God. This will cleanse you from all your sin. This will make you have a right standing with God. Dahil nagsasacrifice ka, bait mo ng Holy Week? Nag-isda ka lang, kahit ayaw mo ng isda? Meat eater ka? Grabe, sinacrifice mo. You have now found favor in the eyes of God. Grabe, hindi ka nag-beach, hindi ka nag-burakay, nagbasa ka ng Bible ng Holy Week, hindi tulad ng mga friends mo, ang kapal. Di ba? I am rewarding you. Okay? You now found favor. You have a special force shield on you. That wherever you go, the force will be with you. And you will find favor and you would attract blessings. Why? Because you followed me. Ganon ang mindset natin. Ganon yung mentality natin. And some of us, we go to church with that kind of mentality. The reason I do this is so that I will be blessed. I make sacrifices Sunday, imbis na nanonood ako ng The Buzz ngayon, nasa church ako. Di ba? Sa May 3, hindi ako mag May weather. May weather yung May weather. Kay Lord ako. Di ba? Grabing sacrifice yun. Ultimate sacrifice yun. Di ba? So, madaming tatamaan doon. No? So, ewan ko sa service ni Pastor Larry, kung may, ewan ko, baka nga magsara kami ng 1 p.m. for that, uh, for May 3. Di, di, or baka dito na kami, no? magpe-pay-per-view po tayo dito, LED TV. No? Worship muna, tapos nood tayo. No? Uh, grabe, po, mapupuno ang 1 p.m. natin. Uy, church growth, oh. <laughs> uh, nasaan na ba ako? All right. And we think, if I make sacrifices, I would have right standing with God. Right? Why? Because in human relationships, that, what, that is what happens, right? Di ba? Pag uwi mo, di ba, biglang may dala ka pang flowers, Di ba? Tapos biglang meron kang pang daspa. Sabi na, oh, bakit? Wala lang. Alam mo naman. Uh, gusto ko na mag-thank you sa'yo. Di ba? Kahit na ako ang nagtatrabaho sa labas. Di ba? Pero sa sacrifice, oh, I love you, hot. We are rewarded when we sacrifice. Because in us, there's an innate need for sacrifice. Somebody has to sacrifice. Now, the question is, but what's, what does the Bible say regarding our sacrificial during Holy Week or maybe other seasons of life? Does it make us clean and earn the favor of God when I make sacrifices? Tanggalin na natin Holy Week. Kaya hindi Holy Week. Pag nag-sacrifice ba ako kay Lord, do I earn God's favor? Do I become now more accepted and more blessed because I made those sacrifices? Here's the problem. Okay. Um, sana ba tayo? Here. Number one, our sacrifice cannot take sin away. Here's the problem. Pag nagsasacrifice tayo, hindi ibig sabihin yung kasalanan natin natatanggal. Right? Para bang may utang ka? May utang ako kay... Sino ba dito masarap utangan? Okay? Si Cyril. Okay? <laughs> Di ba? Kasi mag-aasawa na siya. daming pera niyan ngayon. All right? So, Cyril, pwede bang umutang? Umutang ako sa kanya na isang milyon and then hindi ko mabayaran. So, sabihin ko kay Cyril, Cyril, hindi kita mabayaran. Okay lang ba? Hugasan ko ang kotse mo araw-araw. 
Uh, ako na mag-drive kay Tiff papuntang work, kahit medyo malayo, pagluluto ko kayo sa hapon para may, may dinner kayo for one year. Now, after one year, may utang ba akong isang million kay Cyril? Meron, di ba? Hindi naman nabura, di ba? Our sin, our sacrifice cannot take the sin away. I can do all those things and after one year, sabi ni Cyril, actually, yung service mo, interest lang yun eh. Sadista talaga si Cyril, no? Right? Why? Because it cannot pay for the sin. Our sacrifice cannot take sin away. We'll look at now the book of Hebrews, chapter 10. Okay? And we'll look through that uh, for around 14 verses today. Okay? And we'll go through those verses. And we'll be amazed that, again, ang tao may hiling mag-sacrifice, but the Bible says our sacrifice cannot take sin away. Verse 1. For since the law has but a shadow of the good things to come, instead of the true form of the realities, it can never, by the same sacrifices that are continually offered every year, make perfect those who draw near. Okay? So, ulitin natin, no? For since the law, ano ba yung law? Ten commandments, bawal gawin to, wag ka magnakaw. Since the law has but a shadow. Ano ibig sabihin ng shadow? Di ba? Pag naglalakad ka may shadow, ikaw ba yon yung shadow? Hindi, it's just your shadow. Okay. Shadow? Okay, yes, yeah, shadow. Okay. The law is just but a shadow of the what? Good things to come. Sabi sa Bible, lahat daw ng ginagawa nating pag-obey sa batas, it is just but a what? A shadow of good things to come. You don't run after the sh- shadow. You don't live your life for the shadow. Why? Jesus said, I'm bringing something better than the shadow. Right? It says, of the true form of this reality, it can never by the same sacrifices that are continually offered every year. Lahat daw ng binibigay nating sakripisyo kay Lord every year. Oh Lord, ha? ito, tights ko, ha Lord, bigay ko sa'yo, ha? Tabarin mo na ako. Tinasaan ko pa yan, 11% yan. <laughs> Di ba? Oh Lord, ha, nagsiserve ako sa'yo. Ha? Those things cannot take sin away. Lord, ang dami kong sinusupport na scholars. Lord, grabe sakripisyo ko. Lord, grabe ako ang nagtatrabaho para sa pamilya ko. Single dad ako or single mama. Those sacrifices are just but shadows and it cannot take sin away. So even if I am the most religious person, 15 minutes before service, nandito na ako, nagsasakripisyo na ako, hindi pa nag-worship, nag-worship na ako. At yung iba, hindi pa tapos, umaalis na. Okay. Parinig tawag daw, no? So, it says what? When you offer every year, it will not make perfect those who draw near. Even if you come every week here, it will not take sin away. You're tainted by sin. Even if I follow the Ten Commandments and I watch it this Holy Week, it cannot take my sin away. Ito nga problema natin. Sino sa inyo dito, hanggang ngayon, na-fulfill nyo yung Ten Commandments? Fulfilled nyo? Hindi, no? Actually, pag pinamemorize ko sa inyo, baka hindi nyo pa-memorize eh. Paano nyo ma-fulfill, di ba? Right? Hirap na tayo sa sampo. And we're not able to fulfill it. And, and God says in Hebrews, the Ten Commandments, it's actually a shadow. There's something that's coming that's better than sacrificing to obey all the commandments. I'm offering something better. Okay? Animal sacrifices will not take away the sin. It is a reminder of sin. Kaya sabi niya, something good is coming. Why? Imagine nyo, ha, before, pag pupunta ka ng church, may dala kang kalapate o kambing, depende sa social status mo in life. Tapos, bibigay mo sa pastor o sa pare, chinachap nila yon. Tapos, yung dugo, ginagamit pang wash away ng sin. So, it's a very bloody ritual. It is said, at some Passover times, there would be as many as 300,000 lambs slain within a week. Grabe, 300,000. Imagine all the blood. 
It is a bloody reminder that it is not enough because next year, you have to do it all over again. Every year, pupunta sila doon. Oh, it's the time of the year again. Oh, dali na naman natin. Tapos next year, oh, dali na naman. Bakit? Hindi niya malinis yung kasalanan. Kailangan ulit-ulitin every year. The problem with the Old Testament way of bringing animals to the church was it did not work. Remember nung kay Moses yung golden calf? Di ba? Offer natin para mas nagalit pa lalo si Lord. Why? It doesn't work. Okay? It was never enough. Kaya nga, ano sabi sa book of James? Yeah, gandang worship song eh. Yung know, ginawa pang worship song to eh. I did my best. Di ba? <laughs> but I guess my best wasn't good enough. It's true. Why? Because here we are back where we were before. Ang <laughs> lalim ng word natin today, no? Seems nothing ever changes. We're back to being what? Strangers to God. Wondering. <laughs> Parang iba na ata yung uh, lyrics nun, no? But really, it's kind of like a worship song for people who make sacrifices to God. Lord, I did my best, but I guess my best wasn't good enough. Here I am again, Lord, back where I am before. The same sin. I'm now repeating it. Parang wala nagbago. Para tayong strangers ulit. Di ba? Really, it's, 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 it's a picture of the gospel. Right? Verse 2. Otherwise, would they not have ceased to be offered since the worshippers, having once been cleansed, would no longer have any consciousness of sins? So, bakit mo raw kailangan ulit-ulitin kung nalinis ka na? Bakit nila kailangan ulit-ulitin? Dahil hindi pa sila nalinis. They need to keep coming back. But in these sacrifices, okay, but in these sacrifices, there is a reminder of sins every year. For it is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. Here's the problem with works mentality. Na kailangan ko gumawa ng mabuti para bless ako ni Lord. Kailangan ko gumawa ng mabuti para maging anak ng Diyos. Here's the problem. Mapapagod ka. Every year mo yan gagawin. At, at, at alam mo yung feeling? Alam mong hindi ka pa naman talaga nagbabago? Punta nga ako, church. Kasi, grabe kasalanan ko eh. Dami kong nilolokong tao. Yeah? Worship ka, Lord. Worship, worship. Oh, ganda nung preaching, Lord. Ganda. Sige, bigay nga, bigay nga. May 20 ako dito. Paglabas mo, alam mong di ka pa rin nagbago. Bakit? Hindi naman ganun ang pagbabago eh. Change starts from within. There, need to be, there needs to be a conviction of the sins that you're saying, this does not please God. And therefore, I have to repent. And how do we repent? By bringing animal sacrifices? By increasing our tithes and offering? No. By serving more in church? No, it's not. Pano? This is what we'll look at today. The things that man has done, it's not working. It's not. It's just a reminder. Here's a picture of an animal festival in Nepal. Okay. They sacrifice 500,000 animals at this festival. Why? Because whether you're Christian or other religion, there is an innate need for man to sacrifice. Kailangan ko mag-sacrifice, kailangan ko magpatay para ako mabuhay. Something must be done with my sin. And so we're like that. We came from a very religious Asian religion. Right? Where we need to make our sacrifices. Why? So that I would be blessed. I need to go also to the temple and worship so that I would be blessed, our business would be blessed. And now that I'm a Christian, some of us, we bring that along with us. I go to church, I worship the Lord to be blessed. Right? It's the same thing. I'm sacrificing something so that I may be blessed. Now, here's the problem. Tawag kasi dyan atonement. Yung sinasacrifice mo yung animal, ina-aton ng animal yung kasalanan mo. The word Atonement in Hebrew means to cover. Okay? Ang Hebrew word niya is copper. Okay? Which is to kofa. Okay? Okay? It's to cover. 
right? So if you cover something, did you take it away? No, you just covered it. Alam niyan, mga kabataan, ganyan, ganun kayo maglinis ng kwarto nyo. You just cover, right? You don't clean it, it's still there. Kung nagtataka ka, bakit, bakit may rhinitis pa rin ako? Nasa pilo mo lang eh, di ba? You just cover it, but you never take it away. And here was what God was saying. Because they were doing koper, Hebrew word for atonement. They were just covering their sins every year, but they're not taking it away. God was saying, I don't want your bull, I don't want your goats. If you're giving me your bulls and your goats and your animal sacrifices, I'm not interested. Why? I'm not interested in your sacrifice or your offerings. I'm interested in your heart. So you see, this is not working. The system that you made is not working. Now I'll come myself and solve this problem. Okay. That's why he said, I do not delight in burnt offerings. I do not delight in sacrifices. But a body you made for me. Ano sabi ni Lord Don? Ibig sabihin, uh, hindi yan yung ina-expect ko eh. Now let me go down and solve it for you. Kasi pag ganun tayo, walang katapusan yan. Hanggang pagtanda mo, lagi kang guilty. Tapos kailangan mo akong hanapin, bakit? Magko-confess ka ng kasalanan mo sa akin. Tapos papabasahin kita ng walong chapters ng Bible, diba? tapos pangbibigay ka sa simbahan, which, which is not, which shouldn't be. Why? It's not in Scripture. Bakit? Romans 6, For the wages of sin is what? Death. Ang kabayaran ng kasalanan ng kamatayan. Okay? Para raw mabayaran mo yung sin mo, you have to die. Okay? So, nabayaran mo na ba kasalanan mo? Hindi. Bakit? Buhay ka eh. Halika, patayin kita ngayon. Di ba? <laughs> Imposible, di ba? Pa- paano ko babayaran yung kasalanan ko? Uh, kailangan mo mapako sa cross. <laughs> Painful. Di ba? Yeah. It's kidire, right? Why? The wages of sin is death. The only way to pay for your sin is what? Death. Somebody has to die. Who will die? My wife. My wife. No, you, my wife cannot pay. Why? She is also in debt. Why? She's also a sinner. Oh, my victory group leader. Mas matinding makasalanan pa yan. My pastor. Guys, we're not that close. No. <laughs> I can't. Why? Baon din ako sa utang eh. Dami ko rin kasalanan. Lahat tayo may kasalanan. Who will pay? The only one na walang utang. Sino walang utang? Ha? Huh? Si Henry C. Ne? Oh, sino? Sino walang utang? Only Jesus was sinless. Only one can pay the debt for our sin. So, our sacrifice cannot take sin away. Not only that, second thing, our sacrifice cannot please God. Why? Kulang. Kahit anong bahayad mo. Lord, ito pa, ito pa, Lord. Kulang pa rin. Ito pa, Lord, ito pa. Kulang. Bakit? The wages of sin is death. Verse 5. Consequently, when Christ came into the world, He said, Sacrifices and offerings you have not desired, but a body you have prepared for me. In birth offerings and sin offering, you have taken no pleasure. Lahat ng sakripisyo ron na ginawa nila, sabi niya, I actually take no pleasure in it. Yeah. Imagine mo, no? Anak ka, tapos pupunta ka sa tatay mo, nanay mo, may ginawa kang isang grabing sacrifice. Daddy, mommy, look, may sacrifice for you. Tapos tignan ka ng tatay mo. Sabi, uh, I do not desire that. That's not what I'm asking for. And we as human beings, we do that all the time. Oh Lord, ah, ito ginawa ko for you. Ah. Lord, ito ginawa ko. F- Ay, hindi naman yan yung pinapagawa ko sa'yo. Para ka nagpaayos ng aircon, tapos inayos lahat except yung aircon. Babayaran mo ba yan? Ah, hindi yan, di ba? Wala nang break yung kotse ko, di ba? Yun yung sira, but aircon yung inayos mo. And that's what we do. We try to offer something God is not asking of us. So, our, our sacrifice cannot please God. Somebody has to be sacrificed, the perfect sacrifice. So in verse 7, he said this, Then I said, Behold, I've come to do your will, 
O God, as it is written of me in the scroll of the book. Jesus was speaking here. Now I know the sacrifice. I, I have a plan, Jesus said. Whether when he said above, you have neither desired nor taken pleasure in sacrifices and offerings and burnt offerings and sin offerings. These are offered according to the law. Which in verse 1, ano sabi? the law is just a shadow. You did that to fulfill the law, but there's a sh- that's just a shadow of the good things to come. What's the good thing to come? Then he added, Behold, I have come to do your will. He does away with the first in order to establish the what? The second. Okay. Now, medyo malalim, no? Sabi ni Jesus, lahat ng ginagawa natin as human beings, let me just take that away. Why? It's not working. I am the solution. I am the sacrifice. Somebody has to die. Who else can die but me? Ang hirap nun, ha? Kasi alam ni Lord, anak niya yon, Who's the perfect one who would sacrifice for man's sin. Jesus said, the old system is not working. I'll establish a new covenant. So, ano lang natin, ha? Himayin lang natin konti. In the old ways, or what we call in the old covenant of God's people with God, sino yung kailangan mag-obey? Who needs to obey? So your sin might be atoned or covered. Who needs to obey? Us. Dadala ako ng kambing. Whose obedience? My obedience. I go to God. Lord, ah, nag-obey na ako. Ah, Lord, cover my sin. Okay. Who sacrifice? My pet. Di ba? I give my, my sacrifice to you. It wasn't Jesus. In the first, sabi ni Jesus, that's why I'm doing away with the first because I'm about to establish the better, the good thing. The bad thing was, you've been doing it for years and it did not change you, it did not transform you. You're just religious. And a lot of people love to be religious. Why? It makes you look good. Oh, tingin mo ako church. Oh, sa akin ba, babasa akong Bible. Oh, grabe ako, magpaba- nagpapabasa pa ako. Dami kong ginagawa. Ay, grabe, nalagaan ko yung church ko. And we take pride in that. And Jesus said, actually, I'm destroying that. Why? I'm about to establish the second covenant. In the old, it was our obedience, it was our sacrifice. In the new covenant of the good things to come, it was whose obedience? Christ said, I'm here to do His will. Right? Kaya nga, di ba yung sa Garden of Gethsemane? Not my will, but your will be done. It was Christ's obedience, and it was Christ's sacrifice in the new covenant. So when God says, God does not delight in our sacrifices so that we might be forgiven and accepted, what that means is, si Lord, hindi siya sadista para sabihin na, o bayaran mo yung yung utang mo, may utang ka, bayaran mo yan. Kasi alam naman niya, hindi natin mababayaran. And he knew that the only one who can pay for our sin is who? His son, Jesus. Somebody has to die. So Jesus came and became that sacrifice. Jesus said, it is no longer man's obedience, but my obedience that would solve the problem. It is now not man's sacrifice, but my sacrifice of myself to pay for the sins of the people. In verse 10, you would see, And by that we will have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Ano ibig sabihin ng word sanctified? Ibig sabihin ng sanctified, binabago daw tayo to become more Christ-like. That's sanctification. He says, and by that will, because it is God's will for me to be the one to die, the people of God would now start living in Christ-like manner through the offering of my body. Once and, how many? For all. You don't have to come here every week. 
offering your sacrifices so that you'll be accepted by God. Sabi ni Jesus, uh uh-uh, don't, 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 don't do that. It's already paid in full. Somebody paid for it. I paid for it, Jesus said. Not you. That's why we cannot come to God in prayer and say, God, ah, tignan mo, ah, ito ginagawa ko, ito ginagawa ko. All that, sabi ni Lord, uh, bayad na yan. Bayad na yan. Kalimutan mo na. Binayaran ko na yan. I, I paid it in full. Christ's obedience to God's will at the cross set aside the Old Testament sacrifices and provided for us perfect standing before God. Kaya pag sinasabi natin ang Christianity, hindi siya religion, kundi relationship, it's based on this truth. What we're saying is, it's not sacrifices. It's not the offering. It is your relationship with God. Jesus obeyed, that's why we have right standing with God. I did not obey to have right standing with God. It is Jesus who did that for me. Therefore, I am first accepted in love. That's why I do good. I don't do sacrifices to be loved and accepted. I am accepted in love. Thus, I offer my body as a living sacrifice before the Lord. It's not to earn God's favor. We already have the favor of God. Hindi siya nakakapagod. Kailangan ko sumaya ako kay Lord every week para mapansin. I, I don't need to do it. Jesus said, you're already loved and accepted. And thus, you do good. Jesus is the ultimate sacrifice for our sins once and for all. Jesus said, ako na yon. Don't do it every week. Don't do it every year. I paid it. It is finished. Once and for all. Verse 14. By one sacrifice, okay, He has made perfect forever those who are being made holy. When? How, how long? Forever. In another version, at all times. You know what that means? Sobrang powerful ng verse na yan, ah. What he said was, By my death on the cross, I have made people perfect at all times or forever. Okay? Those who are being made holy. It means my past, my present, and my future sins forgiven by God. That's why as a Christian, when I come to the Lord and I say, Alam mo, pag namatay ako, punta ako langit. Hindi mayabang yun. Ina-acknowledge ko, grabe yung ginawa ni Lord sa akin. Pupunta ako langit, not because I'm good, but because God is so good to me. And all I needed to do was accept the gift of God and not reject the grace of God. A lot of people, they reject it. Why? Huh? Ganun lang kadali? Hindi, hindi. Magpapapa ako muna ako. What? Sabi ni Lord, I paid for it. No, 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 Lord. Magsasacrifice. Hindi, magbibigay pa ako. Lord, hindi ito, ganito kadali. Hindi mo naintindihan, Lord. Really, that's what we do. And I'm not just talking about other religions. I'm talking about us. We just change it to Christian terms. But our mentality is the same. Hindi, Lord, Lord. Magsaserve muna ako sa'yo, Lord. Hindi, Lord, Lord. Wag muna, wag. Sobra, Lord. Awkward naman. That's the way you'll be transformed. My kindness will kill you, will transform you, will change you. Why? Because once and for all, you'll be made, those who are made holy will be perfected forever. It, that, that, does that mean I'm perfect? No. I still sin. But now when I sin and I face God in judgment, what will happen? God looks at me and said, Bayad na. Somebody paid for your sin. Hindi, hindi Lord, dami kong gina... Yeah, uh, binayara ko na. Actually, yung sakit, itong pureba. I died for you. And that's why, as Christians, we celebrate the Holy Week. We say, God, you're so good. Lord, bite mo. What do... Why, why would... You show kindness to a sinner like me. Romans 5.8, while I'm still a sinner, you died for me. Why would you do that, Lord? It goes back to grace. And that's what the gospel declares. 
I am sinful and flawed more than I ever dared believe, but I'm also loved and accepted more than I dare hope for. It's gone. For by a single offering is perfected for all time those who are being sanctified. I want to end with this, verse 15, 16, and 17. And the Holy Spirit also bears witness to us, for after saying, this is the covenant that I will make with them after those days. Pag nakuha daw natin yon, that it is Christ who sacrifice and not our sacrifice that makes us right with God, yung Holy Spirit daw, tutulungan tayo. To what? I will put my laws in their hearts and write them on their minds. And then he adds, I will remember their sins and their lawless deeds no more. Where there is forgiveness of this, there is no longer any offering for sin. What happens as a result of that? Lord, I come to you. Lord, now I know it's not me, it's you. It's your obedience, not my obedience that saved me. So now I come to you and I accept that gift. And so what happens next? When I believe in what Christ did for me on the cross, the Bible says the Holy Spirit now would come and remind me of that. And now He would give me the power. Why? He would now write the law on my heart and in my mind. I now start to do good, not to be accepted, but as a result of what Christ did for me. Okay? And then, binalik na naman ni Lord. Makulit si Lord. No? Sabi niya, at gusto ko lang ulit sabihin, I remember your sins no more. You get the extent of that? May umutang sa'yo kahapon. Pinatawad mo. Magbabayad. Ano yan? Wala kang utang sa akin. Yeah. That's what God was saying. I remember it no more. Where there is forgiveness of these. Once you understand that. I know it sounds like a crazy illustration. Ah, umutang lang ako sa'yo kahapon. Ah, nagkasala lang ako sa'yo kahapon. Hindi mo na malala. Hindi ko na maalala eh. May nainom akong gamot eh. Di ba? Gospel. Di ba? O gospel. Okay. Yung gospel ni Lord. <laughs> Bisaya man si Lord. Di ba? <laughs> Hindi ko maalala talaga eh. Tapos ando si Satan, pinapa, Hindi naalala mo. Hindi talaga eh. Parang nag-amnesia si Lord. No? Pero hindi naman, wala naman siyang amnesia. He just choose to forget. And He says, I'm forgiving you. I'm extending grace to you. Why? So that you will no longer offer any, anything for your sin. I paid it fully. And I know I've said this and I want to say this again. Some of you are saying, Lord, love me more. Jesus cannot love you more. He's love you fully. Given everything. I can no longer demand any more love from God. Why? I am already loved by God. I can no longer demand any acceptance from God. God has already accepted me. As a Christian, God has already given His love, forgiveness, and grace to me. And that's the message of the gospel. So when Newton was writing Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. He was reminding himself of this. I remember your sin no more. That's the amazing grace of God. Maybe you're here today. Can I ask the worship team to come up here? We're going to pray right now. And maybe you're here today. And you're saying, you know what, Lord? Ako yan eh. Ganun na ganun ako palagi. When I sin... You know, I try to weigh the good and the bad just to balance things out and I'm trying to do everything to get right with, with you. Why? Because you have a wrong mentality of the gospel. You think I have to prove myself to God before I get accepted. God is saying, no, no, no. It's paid in full. You're loved and accepted. That's why you obey. You don't obey to be loved and accepted. And just in case, because you're loved and accepted and you disobey, my grace is there for you. I'm God of, not just of, the God of second chance, of third, fourth, fifth, sixth. That's the amazing grace. Hindi natin ma-explain. Ako hindi ko ma-explain. Uh, my mind cannot comprehend God's grace and God's love. And that is the grace that would change and transform us. And if you receive Christ today, you're saying, Lord, I'm receiving your grace. Lord, I'm receiving your love. Once you start to do that, I guarantee you, promise pa, 
that really your life would be transformed.